Test is all about taking this batch and moving it east over the next hour. Concentrate more of the rain and some rumbles of thunder into the Central Valley foothills to mountains in far northeast Tennessee. Now what's trailing behind it is still more broken rain, so it doesn't just stop, but it gradually becomes more widely scattered. Mid morning, got a few more 10 to 11. You can see a couple of showers here around Crossville, Wartburg, Williamsburg, spotty around one o'clock around Crossville, an isolated rumble of thunder trying to pop up two to three. But basically, we just work our way down in coverage from now all the way through the afternoon. So in terms of that rainfall potential, that additional rainfall, it's pooling up right now over the valley and east. So that's where we're getting that quarter to a half an inch in some spots. A couple of those spots are a little bit heavier in southeastern Kentucky as well, but it also moves on at at least a pretty good pace. So I know it's pretty noisy at times this morning, but again becomes spotty. Overcast with widely scattered rain early to spotty this afternoon to mostly cloudy and occasionally partly cloudy. So we're just down to around 75 today. That Cloud cover slows down our heating, so I think we'll jump to around 65 at noon to 75 this afternoon when you catch some more of that clearing because we have those couple of pockets of rain and storms early afternoon and then more of a mix of mostly cloudy to partly cloudy in the forecast where you live and range of 70 to upper 70s, even 80 Teleco Plains, 75 Maryville to Knoxville to 77 Loudoun, Crossville, your high today 70, Jamestown 71. Topping out at 71 in Stern, 72 Barberville today to Rogersville. It'll be 75 in Dandridge and Pigeon Forge. Now tomorrow morning, clouds are left over. A couple of showers still want to move through. I'm seeing a few between 8 and 9 a.m. Kind of a brief window there with some widely scattered showers, 10 to 11 Valley and East. Then spotty for your Wednesday afternoon. Warm, windy because that cold front's on the way. So actually the storms will move in around midnight to 2 a.m. on the plateau, but notice it's broken. It's not a really organized cold front, so it'll get us some scattered rain and rumbles of thunder, some gusty storms around four o'clock on the plateau to five to six. Now we move it in to the valley six to seven. You can see a little bit more lined up there to start your Thursday and then that moves on too. but that'll be when it moves down our temperatures. So we go up in winds and temperatures tomorrow to 80 and then we come back down after that early morning line of rain and storms from that cold front to 70. Not bad, at least that's a reset back to normal. We've got some low 70s to end the week. We're still looking at some more showers to really start building up later on Easter Sunday for next week.